This is Jim Morrison with Vinton Newspapers here at the uh, Center Point Fire Station where they're looking forward to uh, building a new fire station. And uh, they're going to tell us about it, uh, starting with the uh, fire chief. Uh, my name is Doug Felton, and uh, we're looking to replace our fire station uh, just because it's several years old, probably 20 to 40 years old, uh, different phases different ages, uh, looking for some support from the community to uh, do a bunch of fundraising and then hopefully get this project going this fall. How much money do you think that you'll wind up needing? Uh, somewhere around 2.5 to 2.7 million dollars, somewhere in there, for the, for the station that we have kind of designed. And um, what kind of do you have a diagram of the design, or is that still being worked on? We we do have one. It's a preliminary one right now, um, and I can show it to you here in a little bit okay. if, if you wish to see it. So, uh, how has, has the community known about this, or is this they is just really, finding out? Yeah, this is really our way uh, of announcing the project officially. We have been talking about it since last year at Pork Days right. when our fire department originally uh, received their first sets of drawings and started to share with the community that this is the direction that we were planning to go. We are very much in need of a new fire station. As you can look around here in this building this afternoon, this building, as Doug said, was built originally the main part of it in the 50s and, part, and other parts in the 70s. Uh, it is a dilapidated building that really needs replacement uh, and we're like every other small community struggling to uh, keep volunteers interested in um, being a volunteer firefighter. It's such a huge commitment and we're so appreciative of our volunteers and yeah, we really want this not only because we need to have it for safety reasons for our volunteers and for service reasons for our community but also to help attract additional volunteers we're currently short what Doug eight eight, eight volunteer firefighters and so you know it's it's a challenge for every community and our great partners in Washington Township um, are supporting this project as well and we service, of course, all of Washington Township with this fire department as well as the city. So, what are the deficiencies of the building, or, or what maybe maybe better is what do you want in the building you want to build? More practically used space. It's been added onto. Uh, it's two buildings combined and added onto. So, we're not space deprived. We just can't use it practically. So it's hard to make it a functioning station and be safe while guys are getting their gear on, trucks are pulling out within inches of them. Uh, just, it's not insulated as good as it should be, you know, so we spend a lot on heating costs, the roof leaks, things of that nature that it's just been, uh, I don't want to say neglected, but it's just things go on and then, you know, since it's a volunteer, you get forgotten and, and move on and then next thing you know it's worse you know in a month or so so is there any funding assistance available through the uh, state or the federal government we're currently working on trying to find any grants that we're available to get we have not found any federal grants um, they are very lacking when it comes to capital campaigns but we are pursuing many other grant opportunities within the state and within Lynn County now, has the uh, community been pretty positive? Doug, you were saying yes. you've heard a lot of co positive comments. With the drawings we put out at each one of our functions, uh, I've not heard one negative comment about it at all. Uh, you know, we haven't told anybody a price or anything what we thought it would cost, but everyone's on board saying we need a new station. Uh, it's good for the community. Hopefully this can be an attracting thing to get some more people on our department and retain some more volunteer people. Uh, volunteers. Okay, cool. We really haven't. We're just now kicking off our fundraising campaign. Our hope is that we will raise close to half of the total cost through fundraising. 
and then the remainder of the project will go uh, to vote as a for a bond issue uh, with the citizens of Center Point in November. Okay. This fire department has 22 firefighters at this time, 22 first responders. That covers about 29 square miles, over 1,100 households and farms, and over 3,500 people. So they're the first responders for all those households, all those people. They're trained the same as professional firefighters, but they're volunteers, and they're in dire need of a, of a new station, a station that's bigger. Uh, most people re don't realize that the fire trucks are bigger than they used to be. So when it comes to cramped quarters, that's what they have here. How much, how long have you been with the department? I've been out of the department since 2000, and I'm in the 12th year of my, of being chief. So, how much of it changed in just that short amount of time? Uh, there's a ton of change for training hours required from when I first got on in 94 uh, at another department. Uh, just the, the training standards, the amount of training that each person needs, the different things that firefighters are expected and required to do has changed in the 20 plus years, uh, 19 here. It's And then, like you said, the trucks get bigger. They don't ever get smaller, you know, because they have to put in all the extra safety stuff and you have to have room to still do the job and do the, do the work you need. So it's... It's pretty crazy how it's changed. The states brought out mandatory training to keep your firefighter one a certification. A lot of your equipment requirements have changed a lot too, Correct. haven't they? Correct. You know, different standards that require replacement of equipment, and uh, and it's all for safety. You know, and now everyone's worried about cancer from all the things that we do. You know, and we have to make sure we wash everything and and just change the way you go about things now compared to what it was 19, 20 years ago. Cool. Thank you guys very much. Thank you. Thank you.